Hi everybody, it's Terry here. How are you doing today? I thought I'd just do part three of uh, the September incomings. Part three is about the stamps that I received in the envelopes that I showed on my last video. So there was four envelopes that had stamps in them. Uh, so I go over them with you today. So I'll start out with the ones that I got from Claws. I'll just show the envelope. So that is the envelope that I got. I did some research on all the stamps today. And just a reminder, this is the postcard that he sent along. And he is from Germany. And I'll go over the stamps with you. There's a set of stamps in here and then the rest are all individuals. So I'll just set them up on my desk here. These are all mint, which is like fantastic that he would send me mint damps. And they are all from Germany, of course. So he sent along four, six, eight stamps. And they are all mint, like I said, which is so unexpected, but so nice. So, so nice. Okay, so these ones are from Claws, like I said. There are eight stamps here. So this one here is the UN building. The stamp was from 1983. Very impressive. This one here is Nicholas Copernicus. And it was put out in 1973. He did astronomy. And this is in celebration of his 500th birth anniversary. 500 years, wow. So these are all in the Bridges series, and they're from 1976. And they're very colorful. Some modern day looking bridges. Very nice. Thank you, Claus. So September was the first month that I received uh, envelopes that had stamps in them. So it was pretty nice. And then this is from Wilhelm, the next one. So this is uh, just a reminder of his envelope. And then this is his postcard that he sent. And then these are the stamps. He sent quite a few. And they are all on paper. And almost all of them have a really nice cancellation. So I'll just set these all out. I'll just set out a couple at a time and then set the rest out. Okay, so this one is a Christmas one from 2020. And then that's the cancellation or the postmark. Very nice. And then, no, this one is Beethoven. This is from 2020. And Beethoven was a composer and a pianist. He's probably one of the most famous classical composers there is. And then this one is Felix Mendelssohn. And this one is from 1997. And he was also a composer, a pianist, and a conductor. Okay, so this one is the Parliament of German Federal State of Thuringer. And it's from 2001. I like all the blues in it. And I like how he sent me the corner outside strips. And look, at that's like perfect. Perfect cancellation. Okay, and this one is, it's Bad Frankenhausen, and it's a spa town, and this is from 1998. So I don't know if those are supposed to be Christmas trees, if this is a Christmas stamp, or whatever. But uh, Wilhelm wrote on the back of it, A Thousand Years City, Bad Frankenhausen. So this, this stamp is from 1975 
It's in the Industry and Technology series. And this is shipbuilding. And it's a tanker under construction. Well, this one is, it says FC Bayern München. And it's for football or soccer and and it's a champion. It's football champion 1999. So this one is the 50th anniversary of Federal Association of Book Traders Peace Prize and it's from 1999. Let's see what Wilhelm wrote on the back. 50 years Peace Prize German Publishers and Book Association 1999. So these four are from the series, Women in German History. And I'll start out with the one probably everybody knows, Marlena Dietrich. She is known for her movies and for later in her years singing in concerts. So she is, was born in 1901 and died in 1992. So, and this stamp was put out in 1997, and she is an actress and a singer. And then this one is Clara Schumann, and she was a child prodigy, a pianist, a composer, a teacher, and an editor, and a mother and wife. She was born in 1819 and died in 1896, and this stamp is from 1986. And this one is Louise Henriette von Orien, O-R-A-N-I-E-N. -E I couldn't really find out why she is in this category. The only thing I could find was that she was a wife of a count. So she was Countess of Nassau, and she was a granddaughter of William the I Prince of Orange. That's about all that I could say. Find she is a countess, and she was born in 1627 to 1667, and this stamp came out in 1994. And then the last one in that series, and the last stamp that I'm showing from Wilhelm, this is Therese Gizze, G I E H S E. I'm not sure how you say it. Gassi, Gassi, she was born in 1898 to 1975, and she was a German actress, and the stamp is from 1998. So that is from Wilhelm. Thank you so much, Wilhelm. I'm going to have fun putting these stamps in the book, my book. I'm caught between taking them off of these papers or leaving them on. The ones that have the nice cancellations. I'm not sure quite what to do with those, but so the next one is from Singapore. As I said before, this is this is the first one I've ever received that had like a secret compartment to it. So this was washi taped around the postcard and this little envelope was inside. So and then this is what the postcard is from her. And she sent me five stamps, four stamps, I think, actually. They're so pretty. Okay, so those are stamps. And now let me find this sheet that has all the information on it. I like to know what the stamps are about. Okay, so this is this one. It is celebrating nursery rhymes of 2018. And this is... This one is called Little Donkey. Let's see how pretty that is, all colorful. Very nice, very cute. And then this one is, and this one also has a piece of the border. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely gorgeous. And this one is, Native Gingers series, and this is a single bear, Singaporeans, and that's a type of ginger in Singapore. That is such a pretty stamp. So that's the 
Native Gingers series. And then these two belong to the Aquarium Fish Definitives series. This one, so that one is the Black Oranda. And then this one is the Tossican. And this one came out in 2020. And this one came out in 2021. Thank you, Cal, for those beautiful stamps. I love them all. Now, the last one is from Kaori, Kaori from Japan. And just a reminder, this is the postcard that she's, one of the postcards, this is the main postcard that she sent me. And then this was this, the envelope she sent me. Okay, and then these are the stamps that were put in this little package with the seal. I'm going to save the seal somehow. So, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, ten stamps. So, a couple of these are from the same series. I will start out with the two in the, in the uh, same series. The series is called Fauna Floral and National Park Definitives. And this one is a Japanese crested ibis and it's from 2015. This one is an Arctic hare from 2014. This one's a little harder to see because of the postmark, the cancellation. All right, and then this is from the animal series, the third one. And this is a Japanese macaque. That one came out in 2015. Okay, so this one is from 2020, and it is called an adult and young polar bear. So cute. And then this one was really super hard to find because every time I put it up on uh, on my phone to check it, it always came up the storybook. So this is the little prince, and it's from 2019. Okay, and then the next one is this one. This is the next one, and it is from 1999, and it says Street Haggy. Then the next one is Phila Nippon, and it's Yokohama, and it's from 2021. And then the next one is this one, and it is from 2019, and it's the centenary of the founding of the Japan Academy of Fine Arts. And it's called Indoor Women, and it's Kenoshita Akinori. Okay, and then this one is from 2011, and it's Japan World State Exhibition with labels. And then the last one of all of them is this one. And it's from 2020. And it's the World Heritage series, the third series in the series. And it's Emperor Riku Kofan. So my friends, aren't I lucky to have received all these stamps for my collection? I'm very, very lucky. Very, very blessed to receive all these. That the people took these people took time out of their day not to only write me a postcard with post crossing, but to take time to find stamps for me. I really, really do appreciate it. So thank you so much, everybody. And for that last set, thank you to Karori in Japan. 
So my friends, that is it for this video. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what stamps you liked and didn't like maybe? I don't know. So just send me a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.